Hi everyone, it's Tanya, and today I want to share with you a technique video using the Tattered Angels Naturally Aged Paint Systems. Ar this is the Architecture family, and this system is called Peeled Paint. Um, it has a really, really cool effect. I've already done it here to kind of show you what, what it's, the finished product's going to look like. And uh, I don't know if it'll focus whenever I get close enough, but you can really see the texture in that. It really looks like it's been peeled, painted and peeled. So this is what you get when the kits, the kits retail for about $19.99 and they come with four bottles of one ounce bottles of Tattered Angels mediums. So you'll get whatever you need to make the look um, from, you know, the bottles will be products in the Tattered Angels family. You'll also get a full sheet instructions of step by step on how to achieve the look that is in the package. Now the cool thing about this is is that every time you do it you're going to get something different. And the other cool thing about it is you can change it up and do some different things to make it your own or give it a different totally unique look. So to get started, I know, uh, the last couple I've done on tags, this one I have a project in mind, so I want to use one of these. This is the uh, hanging sign die cut from Tim Holtz, and I have it on a thin piece of chipboard, just it's a clay coated piece of chipboard, and I'm going to do this technique on there. So we're going to start out with our bo uh, first is going to be our coconut shell glaze, which is a one ounce bottle. Then. Um, let me get these all out so we can get started. You're also going to need um, a heat gun for this technique, and you're also going to need a uh, paint brush. I'm going to use a fan brush. They suggest for this particular look to use a fan brush because you need to have a wood grain type effect for this to look like wood. So the sign is going to hang like this. So I want to make sure that my wood grain, I need to decide if I want my wood grain look to go side to side or up and down. And I think for this technique, I want it to go side to side. So first off, you want to make sure you shake up your bottles really well and get all of that shimmery, glimmery stuff, goodness, off the bottom of the bottle. So I'm shaking it off camera so you guys do not get dizzy. <laughs> Then you're going to take, and I'm just going to pour a little bit of this right onto my project. And I'm going to take my fan brush, and I am going to swipe it across. And you can kind of see the ridges starting to show up. This is what we want. This is the look we want. And if you don't want it to be so saturated, you can actually pour it onto your... Um, mat and then swipe it on. But see how the fan brush is given that texture there? Uh, that's going to give you the look of the wood grain. Now we want to dry this completely. You want to make sure it's really dry. And it won't take but a second because this is a small project. You want to get it good and dry. You can kind of tell it doesn't take long so that's dry now the next thing I want to do is I have this color it's called baseboard and I'm gonna come in with my baseboard and I'm gonna spray it right on here leaving some of those areas untouched I want to keep that and that's what's gonna give us our wood grain look check that out and that cool now you're gonna heat it up again Okay, so now that that is good and dry, the next step, we're going to take uh, this high pass and again, shake it up really good. And this is tan high impact pigment. 
and you want to be extremely liberal with this. You want a lot of this on here. And I may, oops, sorry, I dropped something. You may actually want more than what I'm putting on here, but I'm gonna swipe this on and you wanna leave some spots uncovered, but you want some spots to be extremely saturated with color. So like I've got it puddled up right here and it's super thick, that's what I want. Now this time I'm gonna take my heat tool and I am going to give it concentrated heat because what I want it to do is crackle and bubble up. The thinner this high impact is, it's gonna crackle. But the thicker it is, it's gonna bubble and the bubble is what's gonna give us our hole for the wood grain or the peeled paint. See how it's moving around? You really want to concentrate heat this. You want to make sure that it's really hot. See how it's bubbling there? That's what we want. We want it to bubble and react like that. We really want those bubbles. It's crackling. I don't know if you can hear it or not on the video, but it is crackling. Now, I'm doing this in real time. I don't want to speed this up. I know the heat gun is loud, but my theory on this is I want you to see how fast you can create these faux looks without um, much effort at all. But again, you really want to make sure this is good and dry. So it could take a few minutes. It's sizzling. Sizzling is good. We want it to bubble. We want it to shrink up and actually bubble. You can almost see the crackle effect happening here in the thinner areas, but that bubbling is exactly what we want right there. Here it sizzle. That's what we want. What that is, is that is the medium that's inside that last color, the high impact. It is the medium shrinking and condensing. And that's what we want. It's gonna pop and it's gonna bubble up. That's what we want. See that little bubble that just bursted? That's exactly the look we're after. It's not quite dry yet because it was quite a bit of um, fluid on here. Almost dry. Be careful touching it because it is very hot. I think that'll work. So now what I want to do is I'm going to grab a baby wipe or you could use a wet paper towel and you want to take your next color which is boardwalk and you're going to spray this with the boardwalk. Now, I'm going to take my baby wipe. I'm going to let it soak into these areas because I want those to be concentrated color. Okay? And I'm going to take my baby wipe and I'm just going to kind of rub it off of some areas. But I want it to be really thick. I'm just dabbing it. I'm not, I'm not being really particular, you know, like I don't want to pick it all up. But now I'm going to heat it again just to make sure it's good and dry. Okay, and now I have a popsicle stick just here on my desk. You need to use a fingernail, the back of a paintbrush, and where those bubbled, you want to kind of peel those back. See, that's giving you your peeled paint look. Isn't that cool? So you just want to kind of work those back. And that is the final step that is in the instructions, but I'm going to take it one step further because that's what I do. See? So now I've got all those where those bubbles where it's crackled and bubbled up. I want to pull that back just a little bit. I don't want to brush those off because I want that peeled paint to stay there. Okay. 
and you could use your fingernail to do this you don't you don't have to use a popsicle stick like I said you can use the back of a paintbrush just something you can scrape at this okay so now what I have let me pull a little bit off of here oh yeah see look at how that did Isn't that awesome now what I want to do which I discovered yesterday and I thought oh that's really cool I'm gonna come back with my coconut shell and I'm just gonna put just a spot of this on my on my mat. I'm gonna kind of clean it up with my baby wipe here. Put, always make sure you put your lids back on your medium so you don't accidentally knock them over. I'm gonna take this baby wipe. I'm gonna pick up some of this onto this baby wipe and I'm gonna kind of dab it into those holes. Just kind of brush it over it. Now this has a glaze and an iridescent medium in it. It's, a high, it's actually an interference green is what it looks like. And I'm just rubbing that into those holes and then I'm gonna take the back of my baby wipe and I'm just gonna, just like you would distress ink, I'm just gonna kind of rub it in a little bit and you'll be able to, it'll pick up, it's gonna fall into those ridges that are on there and it's gonna kind of help to give it just a little bit more texture. It's gonna bring all of those, um, the texture to the top. And it's really filling in those holes. And grab a little bit more. It'd probably be better to do this with like a, a sponge or a, rather than a baby wipe. But now I wanna take this baby wipe and I'm where I wanna kind of rub off some of that around that where that paint color is. See that? And we're just gonna kind of keep adding layer after layer until we get that look that we're after. And I'm, I'm really wanting it to be a little more chocolate, I think, in that hole. Maybe if I grab a paintbrush. Let me get it with a paintbrush. And I'm just gonna kinda work it into that little hole, that knot, if you will. It's just gonna kinda give a little bit of, um, you know, just dimension to this. Really let it soak into that chipboard. And you don't want to do it all over because you want it to have a different look. But I'm going to let it sit for just a second, get really soaked in, and then I'm going to come back and just kind of dab it up in some spots. Now I'm going to hit that with my heat gun one more time just to make sure it's good and dry. And like I said, that last set, that last uh, tip is not in the instructions that come with the bottle. It's just something that I was playing around with last night and thought, oh, that's really cool. I'm gonna just wipe this area up just a little bit. It's just a little too intense. Okay, now I'm gonna hit that with the heat tool one more time. cool is this it is so cool and there you go there's our little distressed hanging sign I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit let these mediums just kind of do their thing and dry and then um, I'll be back you know maybe on my blog post or something I'll post um, a picture of something I've made with this because I really want to I may add it to a I don't know a project that I'm working on right now so anyway thank you guys for watching thanks for hanging with me through this entire process I know it, it gets kind of lengthy but like I said I really want you guys to see it from start to finish without any interruptions or breaks so that you can see how long it takes for uh, this to you know this effect to work so thanks for watching and please leave me comments and let me know what you think of these paint systems i have about 10 more over here i want to try and do videos on so um thanks a lot for watching